options for patients seeking different therapies and how long lasting are these uh, procedures? Well, let's start with uh, what's currently legal versus what is going to be okay. FDA approved. Okay. So what's currently legal now in many states in our country is cannabis, um, either legal for medical use or just for recreational use. I smelled that in Times Square. <laughs> yes. Actually, it, I knew. Well, just yeah. here in New York City, now we, we finally have legal cannabis instead of just medical cannabis. Mm -hmm. So it's important to remember that cannabis is sort of like a minor psychedelic. You could call it the people psychedelic. It's very uh, more available. Uh, you don't necessarily need medical supervision. Um, and it can do some of the things that psychedelics do in terms of neuroplasticity and in terms of sort of meaning making. Um, then next we have ketamine, which isn't officially a psychedelic. It's actually an anesthetic, but mm -hmm. it has psychedelic effects, especially in terms of neuroplasticity. Ketamine is completely legal, FDA approved for treating depression. Um, and, and what's great about ketamine too is you don't have to stop your antidepressants. If you're on antidepressants and you're getting some effect, you can layer the ketamine treatments on top. So that's great because some of the other psychedelics, you have to stop your psychiatric medicines. And as we know in psychiatry, getting off your meds can be really difficult. Mm, right. So, and then you have psilocybin. So psilocybin is not yet FDA approved, but it will be for treating depression. And here again, it's psilocybin assisted therapy, right? It's not like a take home therapy where you just go trip. Uh, you're working with you're working with therapists. You're working with a psychiatrist. Um, they're screening you to make sure you're appropriate. Right now, we don't really allow people into clinical research if they have a history of bipolar disorder or schizophrenia, mm -hmm. or even if they have relatives with this history of psychosis. So we're being very cautious. So you're properly screened. The psilocybin assisted therapy happens once or twice, and then there's all this therapy on the other side, which is called integration, to help you sort of. Uh, maybe walk the talk. You know, maybe you figured out some things during your psilocybin experience, but now you need to actually integrate them into your lives. So we hear the term microdosing. What does that mean? Yeah. So microdosing is taking about a tenth of a big dose or a macro dose. And you take that tenth of a dose, maybe one day on, two days off, or one day on, three days off. There's also a different protocol where you take the microdose five days on and then have two days off. You can't take a microdose every single day because you would get tolerant to it. Mm. So you do this program of every third or fourth day or five and two, five on, two off. You do that cycle for maybe a few weeks or even a couple of months. And then you check in and see how you're doing. It's not immediate, um, but it is something that people are doing without a lot of medical supervision. It is one of the things that can be added on to your psychiatric medicines. A lot of people microdose to get off their psych meds. They do a slow taper while they're microdosing. Some people use it to help with concentration or focus or creativity. It can help you get into a flow state. So after you do that one uh, round of sessions, how long lasting, how long does this work? So I've done the psychedelics or whatever. Yeah. Do I come back? every six months, That's once a, a year? That is a great question because it's really different. Like with ketamine, it seems like people might get a pretty robust response, but sometimes it fades over a few months and you have to come in for boosters. Some people get boosters every month, every two months. It seems like with ketamine that you're not like, you know, a few sessions and then you're off and running for most people. But with psilocybin, it really is one or two sessions and you're, you, you know, you've gotten a, a marked decrease in your depression symptoms wow. that can last a uh, so far, the studies are going out one year that people are still holding on to the benefits that they got from the session. Very informative. This studio has never been so quiet. <laughs> Thank you for all the information. A reminder for everyone, please consult your doctors if you're interested in these treatments. They are done under medical supervision. Thank you, Dr. Julie. Pick up a copy of her book, Good Chemistry, The Science of Connection from the Soul to Psychedelics, where books are sold. Appreciate Thank you being here. Thank you. We'll be right back to open up the inbox after this here on Live.